I know I'm wearing black and yellow. Mr. Wasp, nope, I'm not one of your kind. I'm not your friend, back away. Sonia Miller with Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to the vlog. I hope your day has been nothing but amazing, terrific, the best that it can be. Oh no, you didn't come back, did you? Please. <sighs> oh, I almost had him. We got a wasp who wants to paint furniture with me. So yesterday on the vlog, we did this. And the day before we did that. Well, now that I have this color in my living room, it's time to bring it somewhere else. When you decorate, if you just put in like one color on its own, then it just feels like it's there. You need to bring it around the room, right? Bring it around town, as SpongeBob likes to say. So I've got this stand that sits directly in the corner across from those trunks that we stacked yesterday. Which is here with me right now. We're gonna hang out together. Me, the stand, and the wasp or hornet. I really don't know the difference. All I know it's black and yellow and it's got a stinger. And we're gonna flip this to match the living room. It's time to put some color on it. I'm tired of looking at it in this state right now. It just needs a little something something. You know what I'm saying? So we're drinking the iced coffee and we're gonna make it happen today. By the way, I got out earlier to Walmart. I was dropping off your junk monkey happy mail, of course, and Walmart is not that far away from the post office. So I took a quick pop over and I found some awesome things that I'm gonna use to decorate, or I should say awesome thing. I found things, but I'm, you're, I need your help to pick which one's gonna look best. We'll figure that part out in just a little bit. But I did pop over and I saw some things on sale. So you might wanna check your area too. I'll tell you all about it in just a second. But first, let's grab some paint and go bananas. I have had this can of Sweet Sunset forever and a day. I am just going to add some water to get it really flowing. And I want to make use of it. I want to make use of every single drop in this can. So let's paint this today. Who knows what else I'll paint this color. Do you ever do that? Pick up a color that you haven't used in a while and fall back in love with it again? I love putting the first bit of color on a piece that needs some love. Stanley, did you come to visit me? Come here. here push, 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 push. What do you think of this color, huh? Do you like it? Do you like it? I think that was a yes, you like it. Just don't get too close, okay? You know what, let me find a place where you can sit. That's the perfect place for a kitty. You just sit right there, or there, if you want to. Wherever you wanna sit. Yes, you love my cactus painting. Not as prickly as the real thing. What is it? and probably do a little distressing after that. In the meantime, while we're waiting for this to dry, let's head to Walmart because I'll show you what I found earlier there. You might want to go too.
was checking out, the cashier came over as I was going through the self checkout, and she's like, "Oh, bless you." She didn't say bless you. She said, "Oh, I like those. I might have to get those too because everything I try to grow doesn't." I thought I might be the only one out there that can't keep a plant alive, but so which ones did I bring home? What is Dan again? Stanley's the baby. He's got one whisker. Can you see it now? It's at the very top of his ear sticking up there. He got into the paint. So he's got a beautiful coral whisker. You, my friend. Oh, look, and you did your eyelashes. <laughs> All right, so I picked a giant orchid. I do have a couple of smaller ones around the house, but this one said giant orchid on it. Like, yeah. It's the orchid of all orchids, the mother orchid. Love it, love it, love it. Large orchid, yes. So we could do this one right here on top of it, or we have this one. Now don't be scared. This one is called a snake plant, but there's no snakes in there. Seriously, they could have came out with a better name for this plant other than snake plant, because that alone made me go, hmm, do I really want it? I don't know why they call it a snake plant, do you? Anybody who has these for real? I like this plant. I like the way it leads the eye up. And I have tall ceilings, so I want it to like fill out, fill out that space. I eventually want to get some artwork behind in that corner so I can put my stand and put my artwork up the wall. So I gotta figure out which one's gonna be best on here. All right, let's finish drying this. Let's give it a little help with the heat gun and then we will distress. Well, that worked out quite nicely. She's pretty much dry. You guys know sometimes, if I know I'm gonna do some distressing, I leave it like 99.9% .9 dry because I'm gonna grab a sand block and go over this. Now, I will tell you that because this has been done with some sort of spray enamel paint over the top of it, it's already chipping. So even when I was brushing it on, some of the chips of paint wanted to fall off, which is kind of cool because I do love shabby distress. Rustic, shabby God, just say it with me coarse sand pad to go around my edges to make it look a little worn and torn. I do love that cozy lived in style. take you off the tripod so you can see this. Yes, oh, look how nice that is. Anybody else get excited over distress marks like that? And that right there, oh yeah. This is what dreams are made out of. This right here is pure heaven, pure heaven. Gold, sweet sunset. <sighs> All right, let's monkey shine this baby up. So we have got our monkey shine, we've got our wax brush to apply it, and we've got a cloth to buff it off once it's on. We gonna seal this girl in. All right, well, what do you guys think? We are done, we've painted, we've sealed. We've distressed in between that like a good old sandwich. Let's try our giant, the large orchid first. I know this is gonna be tall to you guys. Let me scan way up, way, way up. What do you think? This could really fill out a corner. This has got a lot of like, whoo, width. We're big, we're global. Whatever one we don't use here will obviously go in just another space in my house. And then this one, this one is more like classic. I do like that, but I don't know. I might be in love with the giant orchid. I do love some flowers. So we got this one. I don't know, friends. I don't know, it does, I mean, yes, we have artwork, we could make it work but I feel like we have another candidate. And by the way, these mirrors down here, I think I shared with you before that I have the idea and I've been collecting mirrors, which Matt absolutely hates. <laughs> Spooky! 
um, because I want to do an entire wall of just mirrors. What do you guys think about that? All right, here is our second candidate right here. Yeah, I think I like that one better right there in the corner. Is that a good pick? You let me know your thoughts below. And maybe you'll want to head over to your local Walmart to see if there's any faux flowers on sale as well. So I'm going to clean out this corner here. All this needs to go away, even this lamp. I'm going to move it. And then I foresee lots of artwork right here. I think that will look real good. Yay, another project done. Now I get to clean up out here. Well, thanks for hanging out with me again today, guys. I appreciate you coming back and watching my videos. Please, if you'd be so kind to take a moment to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Or just drop me a heart below. That would mean the world to me. I'll see you guys back again tomorrow. Who knows what we're gonna get into.